Yo, what's up, Swag Gang? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lara, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we are back here again with Urinating Tree, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This one is gonna be really good. This is the ultimate cheat sheet to the 2022 NFL Free Agency. NFC Edition. And then, you know, you, you know, if you guys run this up, we're gonna do the AFC. Look, guys. It's a lot that's going on in the free agency, man. I'm happy about my Patriots getting, you know, doing their thing, bro. But I'm not going to lie, man. We're not scared of y'all Dolphins, bro. We're not scared of y'all Dolphins. So, fins down. We're not scared of you guys, bro. We're going to see who comes on top. Let's get into the reaction. It's, it's not, not just, just the player, player movement, movement that chaos is training to bring. It's in broadcast booths throughout the land. Tom Brady really thought he was going to run? No! <laughs> they they're broadcasting Thursday Night Football, they're getting a legend in Al Michaels alongside Kirk Herbstreit. This is a huge step for streaming, and I hope it works out. ESPN, on the other hand, has struggled with finding the right announcers for Monday Night Football. Their response was to throw open the checkbook and post Joe Buck and Troy Aikman from Fox. Damn. Which is also notable because Buck won't be able to broadcast the World Series with this deal. To replace them on their respective networks, Mike Tirico and Kevin Burkhart take over top game duty. But unlike this in the AFC, the NFC has suffered one of the worst talent drains it's experienced in its history. Listen. They're going to try everything they can to bring a Lombardi to Santa Clara. Why not Trevorius Ward? The Niners do need help at corner. And Ward is pretty good, so definitely worth the price of admission. But what about Jimmy G? We were told that there would be plenty of suitors fighting for his services in the offseason, and he'd fetch a decent return. Only problem is that he's still here. Once again, not exactly a bad problem to have, but now we'll be forced to suffer through the end. That was a good catch by Debo Samuel. The because the quarterback now has to be good right off the bat. Fuck development, I want a franchise QB now! ESPN really has done horrible things to sports discourse. Damn. There signs littered throughout the past season. So Wilson, Pete Carroll, or perhaps... God damn, dude, way fumble. ...flattening into nothing. Say a lot, Alex Collins is not that good. Nobody though. wants the greatest stretch in team history to officially end. However, now the time has come to pay their due. Russell Wilson and Bobby Wagner, two of the longest tenured faces of the franchise, are gone. That's true. Dwayne Brown and Carlos Dunlap are also released into the wild. It's a dark and gloomy day in Seattle. That's crazy. Russ may have gotten an excellent return from Denver, but it doesn't matter. A great era is over. Even for the successes, they will get no sympathy for their plight. I want you to look at this play. This is their legacy. Yay! This is the only thing that anyone will remember the Seattle era by in the future. Yay! And that's saying something considering this team won a goddamn Super Bowl ring. This play is a microcosm for one reason and one reason alone. That's crazy. Unmet expectations. This team could have been a potential dynasty, yet they overthought it and tried to be too damn cute when it mattered. Now the Seahawks are merely drifting into an abyss. They lack vision, direction, or any sort of modern thinking in their brains. Damn, that was a good pick. Pete Carroll and John Schneider are still here. Great. What the fuck have they done over the past few seasons to merit it? Seattle knows what they need to do, but they won't. You have to wipe the slate clean. It's the only way things can heal. All you have left after this? A withered husk. Carroll should know a thing or two about that. Damn. Damn, bro. Gotta let me know down below what you guys think if you made it this far. Love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.